Here we have an Asus Z690 that came in for repair. The motherboard is big, heavy, and expensive. The customer actually came in a few months ago where we fixed pins, damaged pins on his CPU socket. And yesterday he came back because he's not able to overclock his memory. He sent the motherboard to Asus and Asus told him that they see damage on back of the board. So I looked at the back and I do see the damage that he's talking about. He said Asus was not able to help him out, so it looks like he inflicted some damage when he was trying to install the board. We do see trace nicks right here. We see one here, and we see one here, and we do not know if those lines are continuous or not. We're going to have to grind maybe from here to here, and then we're going to measure to see to make sure the line is continuous. Same with this and this. But that's not all. We have more. We're going to have to check this trace right here. And we're going to have to check all the way down the traces right here. And that's all I can see looking on back of the board. I do not see any other damage. So let's go ahead with measuring this area. Make sure everything's good. If not, then we're going to run a wire to complete the circuit, the trace. We're going to use our V2 grinding pen. And we're going to grind from here to right here. And we got to do the same for this trace right here. And we're going to do the same for this one here. Well, we can measure from this via all the way to here. What else? Let's do everything now. Jump over to this area right here. Maybe we can zoom in. Because those traces are tiny. Very tiny. And we're going to measure from, look at this, I'm using the finest grinding bit. And look at how tiny those traces are. Let's clean up and see what's going on. It's hard to see right now. It looks like a battle zone. But what can you do? Meter in continuity mode. And we're going to measure from here. And this line is good. We'll mask it at the end. We're going to test this line here. And this line does not, yeah, this line is good. And we're going to measure. This via looks like it's going here, and this one is going here. This one is good. This one is good. So the lines are continuous on this area this line is good and finally this line is good so this area is good while we are here let's go ahead and mask the traces we can apply UV mask and it looks like the mailman came in, he's outside. Just a tiny bit of UV mask, goes a long way. Okay, so while I'm handing over the packages to the mailman, let me just 
apply UV light and I'll be back. How are you? I applied some hot air so we can dry that shiny coat on top of the UV mask and hot air made that blowing noise because of the hole that we have here. So we're done with this area, we masked all the lines. Very nice. Now let's jump over to part two of the motherboard, right here. And let's measure those three traces. Measure from here. The line is good. And the line is good. Last one here. And nothing. This line is broken. And this line is broken. All right, so we're gonna run a wire here and we'll mask this whole area. And then we're gonna jump over to the last damage that we see on the board. And then we should be done with the board. The customer is one of those people who likes to overclock anything that can be overclocked. And he works with installing modified firmware so he can gain the most out of what he has and all that stuff. So right now he's not able to overclock his memory and that's why this one came here. So we do see a rift or a broken trace right here. Let's go ahead and restore it and hopefully that board will work. There's nothing else I can do for the customer other than what I see. If he still cannot overclock his memory then he's gonna have to live with the motherboard without overclocking the memory. Just the memory. I mean how much can you gain by overclocking memory? I'm not an overclocker, so if you have any information on what benefit do you get out of overclocking memory, let me know. Leave it down in the comments. Let's get rid of the glare. I mean, I would understand if you want to overclock a CPU to get more out of your CPU, if you want to overclock a GPU, but I do not know how overclocking memory is a benefit. Let me know. Overclocking a CPU or GPU will give you more power but on the other side, the system will suffer a lot of heat. It will consume a lot of power and it will just bring down the lifespan of the device. This board is thick. And if your soldering station does not compensate for lost heat, then you're not going to be able to solder anything on this board. And that's what separates a good soldering station from a bad one. Like when I apply my soldering iron on the board, the board is going to absorb the heat and the station will compensate for that heat. The tip right now it's at 450 degrees. When I put the tip on the board, the temperature on the tip will get lower because the board is absorbing the heat. But the station will start to push more heat on the tip so it can maintain a 450 degrees Celsius temperature. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to solder anything on this thick board. And that's why we carry the T3B soldering station because it offers that feature for a fraction of the cost of what a Weller station costs. Now we're going to use our ultra fine Northridge Fix bent tweezer. And we just got the NF.S in stock yesterday, the straight one. I'm currently going to be using the bent one. And look at how perfectly aligned the tweezer is. I did mention in the previous video that those tweezers are quality checked one by one to make sure the tip is perfectly aligned and you will get nothing but the best. Look at how precise that tip of the tweezer is. We're going to go all the way to right over here.
and we're good. And we're all good. Let's measure. Okay, so let's measure again. I'm gonna grind a bit right here so we can place our probe right here. And that should be enough. So we're gonna measure from here all the way, all the way to right here. Yes, we have a continuous path. Let's apply UV mask. Hey, what's up, man? Just a minute. Let's turn on our ring light again in combination with the anti glare light. And we're going to have to add more UV mask. We're going to apply our UV light. Right here, if you would like to get a suntan. And the UV light will turn off by itself in about 20-30 seconds. We sell those lights. Just log in to northridgefix.com, click on shop, and then search for nf.uv lamp, and you will find it. The UV lamp comes in a box like this, and you can search for nf.uv lamp one of the best uv lamps i've used and i've tried a lot and let's take a look at this one last area the mailman came in and i started to grind this not realizing that the camera was off but not a big deal the area is good i grind it from the top and bottom i measured from here to here and continuity is good so we don't have any issues here all we're going to do right now is apply UV mask, cure it, and we're going to call the job done. Now, I did tell the customer that fixing the traces does not guarantee that you will be able to overclock your memory. We do not know if there's anything wrong with the motherboard, so you're going to be paying anyway. We're going to spend the time to work on this anyway. Customer agreed, and he drove from about two hours away. Let's apply just a tiny bit of UV mask right here and why not just apply a tiny bit here a tiny bit here I already have the UV lamp on the board it will turn off in about 20 seconds And now we can finalize the process by applying hot air. And I went over this in our UV mass video, where I mentioned the secret of using hot air along with UV light to cure UV mass fast. A lot of people use this technique now, hot air and UV light. And to be honest, I never heard anybody give credit to the person who showed it. The video I did on UV mask. And we are done. I'm going to call the customer to come and pick up. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you have any questions. And we'll do something else in the next video.